Hi everybody, welcome back to Fragmental. Today, I'm very excited to share with you my thoughts on a scent that has blown me away. I'm talking about Hafez 1984, which is an original creation from Alexandria Fragrances. To find out more, stay tuned to FM. I released a video a few weeks ago where I was sharing my first impressions on quite a few offerings from Alexandria Fragrances. Some originals, some inspirations. And one that I said I really, really enjoyed was Hafez 1984. This is named after Hani, the creative director of Alexandria Fragrances, and I believe that he has come up with this composition as well. This is absolutely stunning. It's blown me away. I think it's gorgeous. I could just leave it at that, but I'm gonna tell you why I think it is so gorgeous. Let's start off by taking a look at the notes. On Alexandria's website, the notes listed are tobacco, vanilla, patchouli, rum, and exotic spices. So quite a brief list of notes, but this to me seems quite complex. So I think there's definitely more notes. There's more going on in this than the notes would have you believe. So there's a little bit of mystery to this as to what else is going on. Let's start with the opening. I have it sprayed on this hand. In the opening, the first 20 minutes or so, you get this gorgeous rum note. It's like a sweet, smooth, indulgent rum and that does remain throughout the life of the fragrance although it does settle after that first 20 minutes what you also get is this lovely tobacco note the tobacco here is listed as cavendish tobacco and if you're not sure i wasn't i had to look this up but cavendish tobacco is tobacco that has been heated with fire or steam and then subjected to high pressure which results in this sweet and moist tobacco and that's exactly what you get you get this really rich indulgent sweet moist texture to the tobacco as well as the tobacco you get vanilla now the vanilla isn't a really bold strong vanilla it's definitely there you can detect it it's more than just a hint or a nuance but it's not as strong as in tom ford's tobacco vanille so this doesn't have similarities to that as far as i'm concerned in tobacco vanille the vanilla is quite overbearing i really enjoy it but it's very loud much louder than it is in here now i'm not sure what those exotic spices are in this they're not listed and it's difficult to pick out any single one exotic spiced note there's maybe a bit of cinnamon maybe a bit of cardamom in here but it's just also smooth and also well blended that it's really difficult to, to pinpoint what those spices might be these spices may be providing an element to this fragrance that I really enjoy and that I think is a massive strength of this fragrance it has a boldness it has a character and an attitude that really gives a good backbone to this fragrance. It structures the fragrance really well. Although it does veer towards the gourmand, I don't think it is quite a full gourmand, but those beautifully blended gourmandish sweet notes perfectly balance with the notes in this that are providing us with that backbone and that attitude. So that might be the exotic spices. I get a little hint of leather. It's not a strong leather like in Tom Ford's Tuscan leather. It's a rich, smooth, luxurious, almost sweet hint of leather. It could be that boozy rum note that's providing us with that punchiness. It could just be a mix of all these different notes blended together. Those bold punchy notes remind me of that boldness that Nasamato's Pardon has, or Hani's own interpretation of that, which is no apologies, which in itself is a fantastic scent. So as well as that fragrance, it also reminds me of Arabian Horse, which is Alexandria's interpretation of Parfum de Mali's Herod. So that brings me on to my next point. This scent has similarities to the kind of luxurious, rich composition you can expect from a Parfums de Mali's fragrance. It has that kind of character. It's smooth, it's sweet. It's almost as if Hani has taken the best elements of those two fragrances and combined them in this, added a bit of leather, added some booziness and come up with what I think is a fantastic original composition. Something else I get from this which also reminds me a little bit of Nassimato's Pardon is that beautiful smooth sweet dark chocolate note. Chocolate isn't a note that is listed but I do pick up a little bit of that from this and to give you an idea of the kind of scent profile that's going on here imagine you're drinking a gorgeously indulgent 
hot chocolate. It's thick, it's sweet, it's creamy, it's made with the best quality Belgian chocolate. It's maybe got some marshmallows and some cream on top. And just as you're thinking that drink can't get any better, somebody walks up with a hip flask full of a really expensive, smooth rum and they pour a shot or maybe two into your drink and you take a sip and it just gives you that Mm, yes moment it makes you stand up straight and puts a smile on your face well that's uh, that's just my way of describing how this scent makes me feel so you've got those gorgeously indulgent gourmandish sweet notes you've got that lovely rich smooth sweet textured tobacco the sweetness of the vanilla those exotic spices a hint of leather that dreamy booziness and I almost forgot to mention another accord that you get in this it has this beautiful dark fruits accord which further provides depth and character all in all I just think this is a really beautiful composition so I know I'm really singing its praises but to me it's justified the notes in this are right up my street in fact I said to Hani when I first smelled this, Hani, how have you done it? You've actually made my perfect fragrance. It's as if someone had read my mind and put all the things in perfumery that I love most into one bottle. Back me up guys, I know a few of you out there have already smelled this. Let me know what you think. I know a lot of you really enjoy it. If you've tried Hafez 1984, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you get from this. Am I accurate with my description of how this makes me feel and what it makes me think of? If there's anything I've missed or anything you think you can add to it, please add those comments because people watching this video will read the comments and it may help people to decide whether this is a fragrance they might like to experience. Let's talk about performance. Beast, enough said. I'd also say this is unisex. You could wear it any time of year. If you're wearing it in warmer temperatures, just go a little bit easier on the trigger. You can wear this for any occasion. You can dress it up and it would be amazing. You can dress it down. It would work exceptionally well as a casual scent. You could even wear this when you're walking around the house in your pajamas and still absolutely love it. Honestly, this is addictive stuff. I can't get enough of this. I could just wear this scent and no other all the time, really. Okay, that's enough from me. I think I've made my feelings pretty clear. Alexandria have come up with an absolute belter. The clone houses are going to be all over this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good.